Hi there. I'm heading out to my sister's house to pick up uh, the rest of my annuals that she grew me. I've got, I think, some more blue salvia out there, and then my impatience are done. Uh, the begonias are taking a little bit longer, so we'll leave those. I might have to actually buy a few of those this year, which is fine. Uh, it's pretty much the only thing I'll spend money on. But anyway, all right, let's take a trip to Kogo's house. We match again. Well, we're we're sisters. That's what we do. <laughs> we yeah. both have. I've got camo on the bottom. She's got camo on the top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! Low battery. Oh. All right. <laughs> we're gonna load me up my plant. She's been growing me. Oh so. gosh, one of them's blooming. An impatient? Yeah. Oh my god. A violet one. I oh. seen it yesterday. I was like, oh my gosh, it's blooming. It's pretty. Is it? And yeah. I don't know if I've gotten the violet before. I think last year I just got the, the pink. pink. Yeah. Was it pink or I, red? Pink. I don't pink, remember. Pink. Yeah. Yeah, I think I just got the one color. The one. But, all right, let's go check it out. <laughs> okay, so do you want me to give you a little tour? Sure, yeah, while we're here. Okay. So, two days ago, do you remember how hot it's been the last two days? Oh my gosh, yeah. So I know. the first day, two days ago, I beat the heat on, do you want me to show you that? Sure. I beat the heat on this garden over here because the sun doesn't really come up until on this garden behind the wood burner until like, I don't know, nine-ish, nine or whatever. Yep. And so I got out here at, I don't know, eight, I think, 8.30, eight o'clock. Oh, the Wajilla. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Distracted by plants, yeah. Mine just started blooming It's a too. frog, I think. Aw. So this garden. Oh, this um, is beautiful. This is all, let's see, celosia. One, yep. Different types of celosia. One, two, three, four, five, six. Rows of different types of celosia, which I planted two days ago and beat the heat. See how it's still shaded? Yeah. And it's, I don't know, it's still morning. I just busted this out. Like I planted all six rows in probably less than two hours. Dang, girl. Yeah, I just went nuts. I also did one little row between the cosmos. See where the cosmos are here yeah. and there. I did love in a puff. And then the rest of it, I don't know if you want me to explain the rest of it or not. Yeah. Okay, so then we did, oh, that foxglove back there? Yeah. That is a biannual, I'm told. Okay. Which I'm uh, my understanding is it only goes two years. Well, this right. is year three. So wow, this is a nice surprise. Funny. So we left that there. Um, so that's that. So anyway, so these are Cosmos, which are new to us this year. We've never done Cosmos before. Mm -hmm. This cool looking one. And then these are uh, Dahlias. Yep. Or wait, that's Status. Status. Okay. Status, Verbena, the weeds are already coming in. I gotta get in here. Okay, then Dahlia. Yep. Um, Verbena. Wow. Um, it looks like we got a little messed up and did Dahlia Verbena, Dahlia Verbena. Oh, that'll be, <laughs> be a nice little <laughs> And then extra status, surprise. more status, it dries great. Yeah. Um, and then Scabiosa, I did different Scabiosa. I did Black Knight, I did white, a mix, and a red. So oh, wow. four different, last year I only did two. The white and black, yeah. And this year we did a mix and a red. A nice. Different. And then, I don't know what that is. Do you know what that is? Uh, whatever that is. I don't know. Oh, it looks know. like it's there too. Oh, we got a little weird and jumped oh, yeah. around here too. You know how it goes. I know. When you're planting, you're just. Well, and two, you you might be like, oh, we're all done with that, and then you find yes, another tray, and you're like, crap. Happens. Throw it so, in. I don't even know what. Yeah, what is that? What is back there? And then I'm assuming that's aster. See where it's like aster yeah. and then a little group of aster. Yeah. And then this is a different type of salvia. Can mm -hmm. you tell? Yeah. So that's a new salvia yep. for us. I think the whole row and that. Nice. And oh, then yeah. let's see what else do we got? Aster, more aster. 
And then those two, two or whatever rows over there are straw flowers. Okay. Different ones of straw flowers. So that's pretty much it for this garden over there. So yeah, so two days ago I planted that, no problem. Then I got into the one by the greenhouse that we were looking at and mm -hmm. it was hard. Hot. It was so hard. I, I know. I died almost a few times. Well, and then not like the, all the heat coming off that yeah, greenhouse, and greenhouse and you're like in a little tunnel where there's probably no it like breeze. Bad. It was almost, I was scrounching down mm -hmm. and then I almost didn't want to stand up because I knew what was going to happen when yeah. I stood up. You're going to go my, dizzy. Yeah, my yeah. whole body I know. Like, cramps and then I'm like, I'm going to die. Mm -hmm. I'm going to die. So I just <laughs> wanted to stay down. Like, I, I, I couldn't, I don't even know what I was doing. I looked back on it and thought that was really dumb. I know. And you probably didn't drink any water. I didn't. Oh, do you want to cut anything? Bouquets? <sighs> There's tons of Shasta, Foxglove, Lupin. You're more than welcome to, we can cut anything you want. I don't know. Maybe I'll take some daisies, I guess. Okay. I don't want to take your Lupin. You can no, dry, it, dry just, that. it just keeps blooming. Like, I don't know what That's to crazy. do. That's crazy. I can't use it all. It goes past bloom before I can use it. You can dry it, I'm right? I'm drying it. Oh. I got like a whole row in the basement. Yeah. This is hard. This is pretty intense. Looking back on it, I wish I would have done like a row right here. Mm -hmm. Because do you know how hard it is to, you know, you start up here. My phone. You start up here, you know, and you're planting. You work your way all the way back. See, you're working your way all the way back. And then you got to crawl way back up here. So it's a lot of movement yeah. in 90 degree full sun heat blowing out. Oh, that's Celosia. This one popped out. Oh, whoops. Um, this is Flamingo Feather Celosia. Oh, that was that cool like skinny pink one? Yeah. Yeah. Which is great. This is Snaps. They, you know how they do. They'll stand back up. I think this <coughs> is still Flamingo. And then everything basically from here back is all different kinds of amaranthus. Okay. That'll be nice. Yeah. And then I should show you how I was, I should go grab my umbrella and show you how I was, I planted that one. That one oh, yeah. yesterday over there. Yeah. It was about 10 times harder than this one. Uh -huh. It Wait, was but you had to get it in. Horrible. I took a baseball hat, bunned my hair up, mm -hmm. put my bun through my hair, got an umbrella, an, a real uh, rain umbrella, full-size rain umbrella, mm -hmm. stuck the handle through my hat. Stop it! I'm not kidding! <laughs> through my hat. <laughs> then when I went down, to, oh, I'm sorry, I had the sprinkler running on me the whole time. <laughs> On my hat. So when I went down the plant, I was literally under a whole umbrella. <laughs> oh and I looked like a crazy person. Jeff came home and he's like, I told you not to plant it. It's too hot. You're going to die. And I'm like, I found a solution. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I was out of control. My whole body was covered in mud. I found two ticks on me. <clears throat> Had a tick on my arm, a tick on my stomach when oh, I went in to go to the bathroom. It was yeah. out of control. Oh my lord. But I got it I done. Know. But you got it done. Got to do what you got to do. Oh. Yeah. People were asking me if we have ticks. And I'm like, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we, we do. Ticks. I had, I found one on me yesterday too. Really? Yeah, but I'm like aware of it all this. I'm constantly yeah. like, do I have a tick? Did, did I get, did I touch poison ivy? Like all the time. Right. Poison ivy ticks. Poison, like over and over. So I can, anything I feel like I'll show curling, you what then you're or aware creeping. of it. I'm like, is it a tick? So I try to like be aware of it. You know, sometimes you can't. So it's but. what, 9 a.m. and look at the sun already. That's what I was doing. Oh, wow, with. yeah. So I did one row of zinnias, which is way back. There's eight rows. I did one row of zinnias. And I mean, this dirt was like, um, what? Mm -hmm. The dirt was like, um, was powdery. You know, yeah. there was powder, full sun. I did one row of zinnias, and um, I got in my bathing suit. 
Right. Then Naturally. <laughs> I did the second row and realized my whole body was sunburned. Oh no. My whole back was on fire. My whole legs were on fire. And I thought, okay, this isn't gonna work. Right. So then I went and got the that oscillating sprinkler, but obviously I don't know how to hook it up to where Jeff does, it's only perfect on this part. No, it was hitting the greenhouse, going all the way around. It sounded like bullets were going off <laughs> when it hit the greenhouse. So I spent 20 minutes trying to figure out how to not get that thing to go in a circle. Couldn't figure it out. So then I went and got the real sprinkler, you know, like the kids play in. The yeah. Sprinkler, set it in the middle, got fully clothed again because I was getting sunburned. Still too hot. So then I find it, found out the umbrella idea. <laughs> it doesn't look like much, but it was crazy <laughs> trying to plant this thing in 90 degree full sun. I can't. I went out for like 10 minutes yesterday and I said, nope. So it's Xenia's, Amaranthus, Gumfrina, mm -hmm. um, Sweet Pea. Gu uh, that's going to bring a sweet pea. I don't even know. A whole bunch of stuff. Cleome. Cleome. Um, I don't know. Is that stock? Oh, yeah. Looks stock. like stock. Ageratum. I'm doing two different colors of Ageratum, a red one. Nice. Ooh. So, nice. anyway, so that's my story <laughs> on the garden. That now was all intense. I have to do is the perennial garden, and then I'm officially done. So, this whole row right here, we're going to direct seed broom corn. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, the normal, I don't know if you want to see all You're the Looking things. good. I don't know. You're going to the market tomorrow? Yeah, I got to get ready today. If you guys live in near Kalamazoo, Michigan, <laughs> go check out my sister at the, what's it, just the Kalamazoo, Kalamazoo market? Farmer's Market. Farmer's Market. She sells all kinds of great things I for cheap. I this this week. Got all these ready to pick out for market. I know. I love mine. She gave me a... Do you have any raccoons left? Um, no. Oh, I'll, I'll pop a picture on. But she gave me a raccoon. It's not hot. And it's awesome. Don't pop this one. Look at these tiny... Did I show you these little tiny kitties? I think I did. No! Yeah, those are new. Aren't they so cute? <gasps> oh my god. Look at these cactuses, too. Wow, that got big. Yeah, that got big. These are getting nice. Yeah. yeah. I love all the colors you put together. Thanks. Yeah. And then, oh, does this look familiar? You gave me that. Oh, yeah. yeah you gave me all these. These pots you gave me. Um, All these, they have like yellow. And then these are drop-ins. I got a cute little tin that you gave me oh, nice. to drop in. You know, I just yeah. don't want the tin to get all nasty. And then here's where I pick like you know what plant out of the plug tray to put into things like this yeah and then i took cuttings these three are i just took cuttings on to get us some more and then oh look at these they got water uh, spots on them i gotta water those up a little bit better but i just planted these on tuesday somebody from the market made this planter for me <gasps> they made it yeah they seen our cement pots that oh we make. Oh my word! And she's like, I made. I work for a concrete company, and my boss gave me a mold, and I'm gonna make you one for a present. Wow! Like, oh. So when I this is actually gonna go in our house because it's a okay. special present. Oh yeah, yeah. That is so cute. Then another lady at the market brought me just her llama, her llama container. Yeah. And said, Will you plant this for me? So I planted it for. Her. And I'm gonna go give it back to her in a couple weeks after we let it root in a little bit. Nice. So she also cute. gave me that this little one too to plant. So those nice. are not mine, those are hers. These are super cute. They're a little bit different than the leggy oh, ones. Yeah. Or the rounder ones. They kind of have that kind of a base to it. Little animal. Is animal this stuff ones. you're taking to the market or are yeah. you selling online? Um I'm I'll show you the stuff I'm selling oh. online. All this stuff I gotta I could take the market. I could put it online. I just don't have a lot of time right now to yeah. do it, but I will when I get some time. Even that's cool. Yeah, it's like a little honey pot thing. They love the Please. owls. The owls. The owls great. are just—they're super neutral. Like everybody yeah. loves an owl. 
And then I just yeah, put in more snap pots a couple days ago, so we gotta let these kind of grow and root in. And then I took eight more, one, two, three, four, five, ten more cuttings here, so we'll have some stuff to play with later. And then these are the ones that I have online, so I keep them separate. Yeah, like so, I can't take these to the market because they're for sale online. Oh, I see, okay. So this is your online shop right here. Yeah, all this. Just this head planner. She wanted me to plan it for her. Oh yeah. I gotta give it to her yet, but it's, she gave me the neat. planner and wanted me to put some plants in it. So it's ready. I just gotta <clears throat> make some time to go grab it to her. Somebody on my, um, one of my friends on YouTube said, oh, look at that. That's cool. Uh, they said, no one has ever treated me as good as your sister Coco has treated me. Oh my word! Yeah, I'll that have to find nice. the who like it was. She ordered something. She ordered something, I think, and she you oh she like she I think she wrote you wrote her a note. Wasn't uh, that nice? Yeah. I'll I'll find the comment. You know, and I I really think it's important how like to how you make somebody feel. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, how you make somebody feel is so important, I think. Because mm -hmm. they'll remember that. Like, yeah. oh, I remember she made me feel good. You know, and or mm -hmm. whatever. So that's cool that she said that. Jeez. Well, everybody is going through things. Everyone yeah. has certain things that happen throughout their days. And, like, every moment that you have contact with somebody is an opportunity to so true. to do something great even if it's just a smile like right. it matters so i still have to plant this it's just not ready yet oh those are your bigs oh yeah some are popping up we should just that we should have started them like in february yeah and before. you know what we should have done we should have got more seeds and like double or triple sow them you know what i mean oh. like do yeah. it once, do it two, do it three times in the same thing. Yeah. I bet you the whole thing would have turned out. So mm -hmm. next time, learning experience. Yeah. So, okay, these are all yours. All right. <laughs> this is the one I was going to show you. Yeah, back to the bloom. Oh, my word. Yeah, I didn't have that color last year. No. It was like a lighter, lighter. pink. So it's... All oh these. my word. We got a couple trays of Victoria Blue. All right. Oh, this one's blooming a little too. What is this? <gasps> oh, I think we did red. Oh, Violet. Violet. Oh, wait, did he? Oh, oh, remember we did a halfy? Oh, a half. Yes, we did red. We did red. Red and Violet. And Violet. Okay, we'll keep that. Oh, Froggy. Froggy. Oh, Or Toad. It. Toady. He's so <laughs> cute. He lives in here. Oh, I have a to I have a couple frogs that live like in my underneath my pool. Oh, hey, really? hey, you're so cute. oh, Rose! We did Rose. He's a cute guy. That one says Rose. All right, we're gonna take. A oh, there's another little frog. Rose. Yeah, I thought we did a thir uh, third oh, we color. Did three colors. Well, we're gonna take away their little hiding spot. Uh -huh. Hopefully, they'll find another spot. Uh, yeah. Two, three. How many do we have? Um, oh shoot, we should have counted. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> well, if it, do if it doesn't work, we'll switch it around. All right, we got them all loaded up. <laughs> There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve trays. So I'm gonna um, get home and hopefully start planting. But we're going to go cut a bouquet of uh, daisies. Yeah, right and there. lupin. And lupin. And okay. foxglove or diant, whatever you want. All right. But what, aren't you going to use it for the thing tomorrow? Mark it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm only going to do 12 bouquets. All he right. needed a special nail or nail gun, I guess, for the steps. So, like, some of it is not mm -hmm. um, secure yet. Secure yet. But this bench is going to slide right over where all of our pipes are. Nice. So then when we want to use our hose or whatever, then we just pick the bench up. So this bench, when he's done with it, will fit right in this little square. Wow, opening. Yeah. so nice. And then I'm using my <laughs> craft show tent. 
yeah. some shade right now, and then I ordered some. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, my brother's built her this deck over the last couple weeks. It's beautiful. so pretty we didn't even make a dent no like this is probably more than I will cut for market wow yeah so it's just like they're just sitting there but it's, it is pretty I do enjoy looking at yeah I love just like the white and yellow and green it's That's just so pretty. simple where do you want them I don't know Thank you. <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. I have a couple more trays of uh, the begonia that are still kind of growing. Uh, so we'll get those another day. They're pretty small and I can't fit them in my car. But yeah, I appreciate you growing those for me. Yeah. I know it's, not, it's a lot of work watering and plant and uh, seeding and all that. No, it's not. Well, <laughs> it's easy. It saves me a lot of money. I would plant the whole greenhouse for you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, we got, I got to go because it's the kids' last day of school today. Yeah. They got a half day, and Coco has to go pick up CC from school. So I promised her I'd yeah. pick her up on her last day special. So Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll see you guys back at... Uh, the house and thanks so much you're welcome yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right we'll see you later bye okay. i have so many daisies that she caught me this is just half of them uh the other ones are right here so i was thinking i kind of wanted to get them all in one vase and i don't have a big enough vase this is my biggest vase that i have but i do have uh, this like trifle, trifle kind of a dessert container here. And I thought, um, that's pretty wide. Maybe I'll just cut the stem super short and put them in here. <laughs> it might be a terrible idea, but uh, that's what we're gonna do. All right, so I'm just gonna start chopping. flowers in here sometimes if I can't if my sister gives me way too many flowers I'm like that's enough <laughs> I literally can't take any more flowers um, I want to but I don't have room for them all uh she's just just take some more take some more uh sometimes I'll make bouquets and put them out by the road I'll get some water in here and put like a sign on it for my neighbors that says free flower bouquets or whatever and it is the cutest thing ever um at, sometimes I'll put it on like the neighborhood face Facebook and the little kids will ride their bikes down with, you know, especially when the little boys do it they'll ride their bikes down and uh come grab like flowers I don't know probably for their mom or their grandma or whoever but it's the cutest thing <laughs> uh to watch but, all right, I think this is gonna work. Whether or not it looks cool, I don't know. Oof, all right. Make some room in here. Oh, cut that one off. I mean, I cut a lot of flowers off, but this is, this is just a lot. And I don't, I don't really have time to go make bouquets right now and put them by the road because I have to go to, I have to get to work. I just went over to my sister's before work started. 
hoping that I could. Oh my gosh! It's so pretty. <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh my gosh! I love it. Get all these stems I cut off. We'll just chuck that in the bucket, but this is so pretty. I gotta show my sister. All right, all right. Well, if you have tons of flowers to cut and you just wanna shove them in one giant container and you've got a triple like dessert uh, bowl here, go ahead and do this. That's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> he likes to play with anything new. All right, I think I'm gonna put it right there. Looks great. Thanks, Coco. I'm back home and there's lots of clunking going on around here because several houses in our neighborhood are getting a new roof about a month ago maybe a month to six weeks ago we had a giant hailstorm come through and it damaged a lot of people's roofs so you might hear lots of banging and go stuff going on but anyway i wasn't expecting that amazing impromptu tour of my sister's garden it was just lovely uh so this movie is probably getting pretty long what i'm gonna do is grab the gator and unload my plants from the car and then we'll do like a part two of me actually planting them because there's a lot of plants there it's gonna take me a while we'll we'll do another part two section of this where i plant the my plants here and the gator they all fit and I think for now I'm just gonna unload them like down here in my path and let them sit until I get some of the weeds cleaned up tomorrow and uh, or maybe even later today I'll make another movie of it and uh, yeah we'll just we'll let them sit down here for now I just looked up and seen the beautiful view of the trees and like the sun peeking through with the blue sky. So anyway, I wanted to sign off like this, but <laughs> uh, actually let's get over here. This is even, even better, even better view. There we go. Now we're talking. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I just hope that you had fun hanging out with my sister and I, it was kind of a nice little impromptu tour of her garden and I got to hang out with her a little bit and catch up and listen to her funny stories. <laughs> also get all my annuals except for my two begonia pl uh, pl plug trays. Um, I'm hoping to get started on this straight away. So we will see you back here really soon and y'all can hang out with me while I plant the, uh, the beacon impatience. All right. We'll see you later. Have a wonderful day. Bye. What do you think, bud?